Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering colliding sprites, or how you can make a sprite bounce off of another sprite. Let's get a qu quick look on how we're doing this. So you can see here the sprite on the left-hand side, Pico, is bouncing off the other sprite. So how do we do this? Let's start from the beginning with a new project and show you. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add spr sprites into our project. So let's two, choose two sprites from the library. Now we need to add some blocks to control Pico. So in the beginning, we're going to want to click the flag to get started. But then uh, we want to make sure that every time we rerun this project, we move Pico back to the original position. So let's add a go to. to move, make sure that Pico always moves back to where he started. So just to give you an example, Pico will always move back to his original position regardless of where he first starts. Next, we're going to set the rotation style so that uh, Pico moves left to right. Now if we don't set the rotation style, what will happen is if we move Pico from left to right, or right to left, he's going to flip upside down. So this prevents him from flipping upside down. Finally, we need some way of knowing which direction to move Pico. Should he be moving left, or should he be moving right? So let's add a variable. So the first thing we want to do is make a variable and it could be for this sprite or only, and let's call it move left. And then next, we want to set move left to zero. Um, so if zero, if move left is zero, then Pico will move right. If move left is one, Pico will move left. So if we want to have Pico bounce back and forth, like we showed in the introduction, we need to have him do that forever. So the first thing we'd like to try and do is we'd like to see what happens if we touch an edge. So if we hit, if we hit the, the left edge here, we want Pico to stop and turn around. So what you want to get is you want to get a sensing block and it's a special type of sensing block that's called touching. So if Pico is touching the edge, then what would we want to do? Well, if the edge is on the left-hand side, we want to make sure we move right. So we have to set move left to 1. Remember, move moving left have to move left has to be set to 1 to move left and 0 to move right. The next thing we want to sense is if we see if we if we touch giga on on this side then we want to move back to the left. So we'll start moving right, touch Giga, and then move right. Okay. 
finally, if we run this, hey, wait, nothing's happening. Well, we haven't put any moving code in yet. So let's do that next. So if move left is greater than zero, that means we want to go to the left-hand side. Now if we want to use a motion block, we have to change x by a negative amount. Remember, changing x by a negative amount, like this, moves the character left. And changing it by a positive amount, like this, moves the character right. Now this looks pretty good, but Pico's not changing direction yet. So, uh, or he's not changing the direction he's facing yet. So let's adjust that as well. well it looks pretty good. So now we're bouncing off the edge and we're bouncing off Giga. So I uh, hope you found that helpful.